right, let's see. We got ourselves an 11-pound trophy northern pike. Let's see if we get some bigger ones here on St. Croix in Michigan in Fishing Planet. And salutations, everyone. Jake Vegas here with Jake Vegas Digital. Guess what? Today, we're going to do some fishing. We finally made it out here to St. Croix Lake in Michigan, and we're going to try to go for some northern pike. Good money makers out here. These northern pike are worth a lot of money per pound, and they get rather large, so you will make a lot of money on them. So without further delay, let's get right into the setup here. Got my Brutus 9 foot 10 inch pole. And we have the Line Glider 5000 reel on it, loaded up with 25 pound fluorocarbon line. Got the leader set down to 15 inches, and we're gonna photo fish a combination of uh, shiners and large minnows for these big northern pikes out here. Now let's go ahead, I'm gonna do some lure fishing while I'm out here as well. So for that, I've got the River Tech Salmon Monster 8 foot 10 inch rod, and the Redfish 5500 reel. And I've got this one actually loaded up with 40 pound fluorocarbon line uh, just in case we get into some monster fish out there can never be never be too certain but we've got everything loaded up here just in case so 40 pound fluorocarbon line on the redfish 5500 salmon monster now I know for certain that the pike out here will hit large minnows and shiners all day long peak and uh, even down peak you'll get hits on them too but I have not really tried fishing with the lures yet for the pike out here so we're gonna fish a combination of crankbaits and topwaters out here and see how well the pike respond to those so let's go ahead without further delay we're here we're here on Michigan St. Croix without further delay let's get into it and get right into the fishing all right everyone we have made it to Michigan St. Croix, everybody, everybody in the streams, in the comments, have been saying, Jake, you got to go to Michigan. Jake, we need you to go to Michigan. We want to see Michigan. You'll make lots of money in Michigan. And we're finally here. We are on St. Croix Lake uh, here in Michigan, and we're going to do some northern pike fishing. So I'm spawned in here at Woods of the Eastern Bank, and what I do is I head east from the spawn point, and it's quite a ways down, actually. I'll show you exactly where it's at. But I head east, or if you're looking directly at the map, it is uh, to the right when you spawn in here at Woods of the Eastern Bank. And we head all the way down. Da -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun. Like I said, it is a ways down here. We pass a bunch of good fishing spots. Probably, I haven't tried any of these spots here yet. But I'd imagine they are uh, good for, for different types of fish. I don't know which ones just yet until I get out there and fish them. But anyway, we're going to head all the way down here until we come up on some lily pads. Nope, this is not the spot. Got a little bit further to go. There are two little uh, patches of lily pads up here to the left. And yep, this is it right here. This is the spot right here. And I got to give credit, guys, to Stitch. Many of you may be familiar with Stitch. He is in my live streams quite a bit as well uh, as in the chats while I'm live streaming. He's hunted with me collaboratively with uh, along with Hogger and uh, Joe Bruce and uh, Skillful DTS also. Um, anyway, Stitch showed me this spot. Hogger recommended that I bring shiners, a lot of them. And I did, to be honest with you, my first day here on St. Croix, I had 50 shiners with me, went through 43 shiners catching Northern Pike out here. I've only got seven shiners left, unfortunately, guys. If you want to fish shiners here in Michigan, bring a lot of them with you because the shop does not carry shiners. They carry large minnows, which do work just as well, if not better, but they're a little bit more expensive than the shiners are. So if you want to fish shiners exclusively, make sure you bring them with you to uh, St. Croix, Michigan. We got, a, we got a ding out there. Looks like there is a fish playing around our minnow out there. We shall see. It took it under. Let's see if we can get this in. Now, I fished this spot over here all day long yesterday, all day uh, fishing planet day long. 
and just pike after pike after pike guys so keep that in mind there are a lot of northern pike over in this area here we got this one on the line doesn't feel like a huge one but let's see what it is we got a, what is that, a six-pounder, I believe. Six-pound northern pike. Not bad. Not bad. Good for $751. We'll go ahead and put that in the keep net. Now, you guys see I switched it up to the lemon lime crankbait. It is a eight-foot diver with a six-aught hook. A relatively large crankbait out here. Fished this one probably uh, one or two times yesterday in-game fishing planet yesterday in-game and uh, did catch a trophy off of it but it was cloudy yesterday and today it is bright and sunny and I do believe that these from my experience anyways that these brighter colors tend to work better on bright sunny days so let's go ahead and toss this eight foot six at lemon line crank bait out there lemon lime crank bait out there reel it in at a one speed steady retrieve and see if we can get any luck with it. Now I do like to do the steady one retrieve. Uh, my best luck with crankbaits has been with keeping them about mid depth and occasionally letting it float back up to the top and we just got snagged up here. Oh, oh look at that, came out of the snag and we got a hit on it. Nice. This might be a decent size, Northern Pike. Of course, we can't tell yet until we get it up here. On the shoreline, look at that thing splashing out there. Let's see, we've got him. What do we got here? 18 pound trophy Northern Pike, not bad. Good for $2,112. Yeah, that is a nice size fish. Not bad at all, guys, off. The eight foot six sock crank bait, <laughs> and look at that. Just hit myself level 40. Wow, all this time, finally hit level 40. Did it out here on Michigan. Look at this, we got a bunch of new equipment, different rods, different reels, different line options, some more lures that I'll be able to choose from eventually. And the fish keeper, the triple or double extra large, which I already have, and a new uh, big tackle box, fantastic. Not bad at all. Man, finally reached level 40 here. I know a lot of you guys started off after me and surpassed me uh, in levels. Finally, uh, finally caught up to you here. Good deal. Let's cast back out there with this crankbait. See if we can't land another one off of it. Um, I don't know if I got my thought completed initially when I first started saying it, but what I'd like to do with these crankbaits is cast them out there and I try to keep them about mid-depth on this particular lake in this particular spot uh, occasionally letting it float back up to the top and then I'll start reeling it at that one steady retrieve again and try to keep it around that mid depth now this spot that I'm in um, when I'm fishing for the pike I tend to fish over as you guys can tell over by these reeds off to the right of me uh, along the lily pads also seems to be, oh, we're snagged up here, also seems to be a good area to cast out there to catch these northern pike. And look at that, right up here on the shore by the lily pads, we got ourselves another one, not a trophy I can tell you, nope, five pounder, still not bad, little guy, but good enough to put him in to keep that good for $582. Let's see here, I do feel like switching it up to something else now. Maybe we should go for the frog. Got the frog lined up on here. Let's go ahead and cast back out there. See, I'm going to cast just, just kind of perpendicular to that, um, to that weed line there. And I'm just going to walk this frog back in and see if we could uh, get any hits on it. I have had luck. I did fish the frog yesterday, fishing planet yesterday. Um, when I say yesterday and refer to time, it's all going to be fishing planet time, guys. Uh, unless I state real time, that'll just make it easier for me to uh, communicate it to you. But anyways, yesterday I went ahead and fished this frog and I had pretty good luck over here catching the pike off of it. We are up here in the lily pad. Sometimes you get a bite up here. As you can see with the crankbaits, we got bites up here. Didn't get a hit that time. It's okay though. 
go ahead and move over here. I'll get a little bit of a better angle on it. And sometimes I'll cast even a little bit more to the right than what I am now. Perpendicular to those reeds, walk it in. And I guarantee you guys, you will end up getting hits off of these fish, or off of this uh, topwater frog. Half ounce, two ot. Walking it along the top of the water. We got a hit on, look at that. Oh man, this feels like a nice size fish. I tell you, these top water walkers will work real well over here. Uh, maybe this fish isn't as big as I initially thought. It's all right though, I do believe it is a pike. Yep, it is a pike. Good for $706. Not bad, but I'm looking for something a bit larger here. Would like to get some trophies, maybe even those elusive uniques. Like to get those as well. Let's go ahead and cast this topwater frog back out there and see if we can not land. Hopefully another northern pike and hopefully a trophy, at least northern pike at that. Go ahead and walk, walk, walk it in. Oh, oh, look at that. Yep, got another one on the line, man. These things. During the peak times, we are in peak time right now fishing for these northern pikes. They love, they love these top water uh, lures, different ones. The poppers work too. So do the straight up walkers. I enjoy using the frog because it doesn't snag. What do we got here? Boom, basta. A trophy, a small trophy, but still a trophy. 11 pounder, not bad. Good for $1,344. We'll put it in the keep net. Day three, day three for me out here in Michigan uh, on St. Croix Lake. Oh, <laughs> man, got a fish on here. Uh, using large minnows now, guys. I ran out of shiners, and um, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, there are no shiners available in the shop here, so I went ahead and purchased 30 large minnows, which I think ran me close to about $6,000 to get these 30 large minnows. But that's all right. We'll go ahead and try it. I've uh, been using the shiners, like I said, and the shiners were working great. The large minnows should work just as well, I'd imagine, if not better. Feels like it might be a nice-sized fish. Look at that thing out there. Nice, a 11-pound trophy. Northern Pike, not bad. Smaller end of the trophies, good for a thousand two hundred some odd dollars. We'll keep it. Would like to catch something a bit larger though. I have caught uh, so far. I've been out here. I've caught a few twenty pound trophy Northern Pike. Surprisingly, I was a little little surprised that they were not considered uniques. But uh, I guess the uniques start around twenty one, twenty two pounds. I only caught a few twenty pounders, but that's all right. I know if I stay out here long enough, eventually I will get a unique. We've got another ding. And just to let you guys know, I've got the number 8 ot hook with the large minnows, and I might end up switching that up to 10 ot. Have heard that the 10 ots work good out here as well, especially for keeping the, pardon me, smaller uh, northern pikes off the line and going gunning for those larger northern pike. That thing is dinging out there. Hopefully it will take it under. Can't see can't see the bobber we're gonna have to go by the indicator in the upper right hand corner to know whether or not that bobber gets taken fully under you see the tension in the line is getting less and less now that might pick up there is something on there's something out there oh yep it took it under there we go another fish on here Very good, very good. This one feels rather large, to be honest with you. Feels like a good sized fish. Yep. Pulling a little bit of drag out there. Got it at 58 feet. We got blessed here on day three with another sunny day here in Michigan. I've had the best luck so far on sunny days. Uh, Today and yesterday was sunny. The first day I was here was cloudy and overcast. So far, I've done better on the sunny days. 
This might be a nice size trophy, guys. I do not believe it is a common Northern Pike. It's got a lot of fight in it. Got it at about 41 feet out there. Let's see if we can get him in. This Brutus rod and the line glider, I'm telling you, works real well out here for these fish. Glad I invested it. Per Skillful's recommendation, what do we got here? An 18-pound trophy northern pike. Good for $2,127. Man, that is not a bad fish at all. Do like that. Good 18-pounder. Almost, uh, you know, about three or four pounds maybe off of being a unique. That's all right, though. We'll keep it. We'll put it in the keep net. was ever going to take this uh, take this bait we got the 10 odd hook on there we got the large minnow this fish feels large let me tell you that this thing yeah look at how that drab drag every time i try to reel it in just uh just goes crazy see this is a big fish i can tell you that i don't want to go jumping the gun and saying unique just yet but i have caught a 20 pounder and a 20 pounder did not feel like it had this much strength, this much fight to it compared to the fish that I got on now. So if we can get this thing in, it is out there 92 feet now, 91. We will just have to try to finesse this thing in. And I could almost, uh, yeah, I could see this one being in a unique, but like I said, don't want to get ahead of myself. So we'll go ahead and try to uh, try to fight it, bring it in here. You see that is a uh, hogger out there in the kayak you guys may recognize hogger from the streams and in the comments got skillful in here as well as stitch all all four of us are in here fishing in this server been a real good time so far that in this thing hit guys this thing hit if you remember correctly hit right at nine o'clock nine o'clock that is right when peak time was over with for the early evening and it's right when nighttime starts we got this bite right at nine o'clock you can see that the fish uh, castle that i have is completely filled up 
So whatever, uh, whatever this fish is, trophy, unique, I'm going to have to throw one of the fish in the fish castle out to make room for this bad boy once we get it in here. Got to say, I'm, I'm glad that uh, glad that I got this Brutus rod, float rod here, and the uh, line glider reel much better than that Fenix and Fat Boy spin I had been using. Got the 25 pound line on this reel, working out real well so far. This thing, this thing, this is a northern pike, I know it, but this thing feels huge. Let's see. Boom! Basta! Gotta love it, man. Unique northern pike. Look at that thing. That is a big, big northern pike. And guess what, guys? They get bigger than this one. Uh, Skillful told me I think he caught a 44-pounder or Joe Bruce or uh, or Stitch. I can't remember, but everybody except for me has caught 40-pound plus nor unique northern pikes out of here. This is a 31-pounder. Let's go ahead and get rid of something. That one looks good. We'll get rid of that one and uh, maybe... No, nah, let's get rid of this one. We should have enough room now to fit this unique northern pike here onto uh, or into our keep net. Three thousand six hundred and fifteen dollars. That is good money, guys. Real good money for a thirty-pound fish. Look at that thing, man. Very nice. My first unique northern pike. Got it here in Michigan and Saint Croix. Look in good. Maybe I should take a few pictures. I just want to admire this thing. It's just like, wow. If those of you who may know me, Northern Pike are the fish that I love to catch the most in this game. Always wanted to catch one in reality. Have yet to do that. So catching them in game is about as close as I'm going to get. Look at the size of that large minnow out there. Let's go to the inventory just to see what we got here. $53,000 worth of Northern Pike. $53,000 worth of no Northern Pike. Got the uh, got to keep net full, and that is good money out here, guys. You're not gonna make that kind of money, I don't think, at too many other lakes. So there we go, fifty-three thousand dollars with a full keep net after a day and a half of fishing here on Saint Croix in Michigan. This is where I'm concluding the episode. I think this is a good time to do. Appreciate everybody stopping in and watching. You all know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, shoot that like button. If you want to stay up to date on feature content and haven't done so already, please subscribe. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world and we will see you next time.